Dude, but. Bennett dropped the Switch like two weeks ago, and yeah. I didn't even care. I was like, <laughs> no joke. I He dropped it, and I was like, <laughs> and just I kept walking. And I, dude, that's bad, because I care so much about hardware. Hello. Welcome to the Bush League Gaming Podcast, your source for ordinary opinions from ordinary gamers. Today is our review of the Plucky Squire. I'm your host, Jacob Bush, and with me today. Every time he eats at a restaurant, he tells the server that it's his birthday, so he gets a complimentary dessert. Leader of Ten Dites, Ryan Scalf. Dude, I don't do that, but I do that for other people. Yeah. I'll say it's other people's birthdays to yeah. embarrass him. I did that on my first date with Allie. Did I tell you that? Our very first day, I told him it was her birthday. That was her response to that. She, I mean, she laughed. She was like embarrassed, but she thought it was funny. That's pretty funny. It's like a good way to start. Yeah, like, I'm, the I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm running through. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, oh, you say bad thing, Nick? No, I it's, like. It's weird. I went to the bathroom and like told them it's her birthday. So they came out with like a cake singing and she's just like shocked. That's pretty funny. Was it her birthday? No. Oh, okay. it was like I, September. Or yeah, something like that's that. I like that. Yeah, that is I like that's a that's a good move. Yeah, kids out there use that. Okay, first yeah. date, see if it works out. That's the Riz. The, that's Don't what the kids that. call the Riz. <laughs> that's what you would say is the Riz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Today is one of those thing <laughs> intros where we read a bunch of rejects that Ryan sent me for Nick. <laughs> I've got oh, six for you today, and honestly, I think six. These, yeah, they're not that good. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So what's the editorial process here? He sends them to you and you just decide if they're good enough. They're good or not. Dude, I will send him. I used to send him like 30. He doesn't message. send them to me anymore. You haven't asked in a while. I s asked you two days ago. <laughs> you did, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah. you did. You did yeah. We were playing That's Fortnite a long like, time ago. We we're playing Fortnite. I'm like, hey, uh, got any interest for Nick? He's like, yeah, I'll think of something. You can't ask me while I'm playing Fortnite. Dude. Okay. Well, well that's 360 your no scope. Ask your <laughs> okay. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's some of the rejected ones. And this is probably from a year ago. I think you'll, you'll oh, remember okay. these, Ryan. Our next guest would donate his back hair if they would let him. Our next guest can count by twos, but only up to four. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, <laughs> that's one, a good one, dude. Yeah. Our next guest times himself tying his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's <a pretty> <laughs> we're velcro that's all i wear our next guest uses his own organic fertilizer on his garden okay that's probably pretty accurate our next guest doesn't believe in magnets <laughs> and our next guest <laughs> that's good <laughs> that's good uh, uh, our next guest believes dogs understand us they just can't respond it's true they actually have all of the answers to the universe you know that one's not even that that's like kind of true that's they just true. Yeah. that's yeah. true that's 100 percent true I don't know what I was thinking with that one. Yeah, you asked you asked ask him to send out. over an intro, and it's just like some long sentimental <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's like, uh, like not even what's that one? It's like to you, your dog is part of your world. To them, you are their world. <laughs> Dude, I just that watched, makes Ali cry every time she sees that. I just watched that uh, chimp crazy or is chimp something. It's made by the same guy who did Tiger King. But it's about this woman, this woman who has chimps, and it's like I haven't heard of this. No. It's better than Tiger King. Oh, yeah, and I'll stand. By. Actually, here Netflix. There's HBO. Oh, I'm sorry, I Ma had to stop. Max. Oh, Max. I had to stop watching the Tiger King after the girl got her arm ripped off. Then you don't want to watch this one either because Honestly, gorillas, like, are, yeah. monkeys are worse. Yeah. Actually. Monkeys are just terrifying. They're terrifying. They're, they're so they, scary. And pandas. Pandas will rip your face off. Really? Yeah, yeah pandas are super aggressive. They're a, they're a bear. But they're clumsy, so they look cute. They and then look you cute. get close and they will wreck you. Yeah. Monkeys though, like their MO is ripping your face off. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's they their go to like and throw and poop. Their go to fight move. It's not like a yeah. jab. It's a rip they, your face they rip. off. Yeah. They rip a lot. I'm it, out. Yeah. If you're in if you if that bothered you from the first one, this there's plenty of that here. It's like real footage. I'd be like, I'd like catch his hand as he goes for me and then I just uppercut, uppercut like right into his jaw. You're boxing yeah. a monkey. <laughs> I can watch something vile like the movie Mother and in my mind is like, this is a movie. Mm -hmm. I can watch that like in taking real footage and my, like I just, my chest tightens and I'm like sick. Yeah. I don't know. I, if Jane Goodall got away with true that's, hanging with them for so long yeah well she respected them she respected <laughs> them i would imagine and it was always i think pretty much always in the wild like she was coming yeah. to them yeah when you put when you put like 
Oh, I'm not. I don't want to get a soapbox about this, but like, let's hear monkeys it. are let's smart hear it on enough. Our Plucky Squire episode. Monkeys are smart enough to where, like, you put them in a cage. They're borderline like sentient enough. Where a hundred percent they are. Yeah, it's like not okay. They feel like they're they, in prison. Oh, totally. Like they understand the situation of like I'm trapped in this cage, mm-hmm. and they don't like that. You got to watch this, Emily and I. We so Saturday night we watched a movie on Netflix. Terrible. Like it was like a new horror movie. For Netflix thriller, what was it called? S- something inside us. It's like it's the it's the body snatcher one. Something inside us. Something like who's inside or something like that. I, okay. I don't remember. But anyways, I don't recommend it. Do <clears throat> not watch it. Um, and it was like ten o'clock, and we we're like, let's let's just watch something else. And we we're like, oh, let's watch this first episode of this four part series. Mm, much better. We we're up till one in the morning watching Gosh, this. Dude, I it had to us watch hooked. That. It you had know us the hooked. name of it. Um, Monkey chimp, King, Chimp Craze, or Chimp Crazy, Chimp Queen. I think Chimp Crazy. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> enough. It's what's inside. Yeah, <clears throat> not good. Um, cool premise. Yeah, oh, really cool premise. I, I did see the trailer Chimp for this. Crazy. Yeah, dude. Cool you know, I see a lot of not videos. Good. I see a lot of videos on like my feed where it's like little monkeys, and they're probably it's like in the Philippines or something like that, and they have little monkeys as like pets. Yeah, and everyone's like. This is not good because it like they have videos of them doing cute things, but they're like they beat the crap out of these monkeys to get them to do that. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Well, in this one, I learned <laughs> that. So those little monkeys are in this, too. Uh, cap- capuchin. Yeah, yeah capuchin. Uh, but then they also have like the chimp and the chimp. What they said is from like age, you know, one to seven, I think they are domesticated. But after that, and they live a human life, like they have like a full human lifespan. They say it's after that's really hard to keep them domesticated. They go into puberty and then they're like yeah. crazy. Yeah. So it's just interesting because they, they try to keep them their whole life. But what happens is they, they're cute and they live with them and they eat with them and they're like out and about. And then they just go into prison after that, basically. Jeez. Yeah. Watch it, dude. It's good. It's scary. Kept us up till one in the morning. It's scary. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Hey. Thanks, man. That was good, too. Nice chest. This is the first time we've done a morning <clears throat> recording in a long time. It's nice. And um, I didn't make any coffee this morning, but I did bring us some Magic Mind. Chug it. Um, which, yeah, I, I should have brought you one, too, but we'll, we'll get you one on we'll the We'll silently episode. watch you chug this. You want to you wanna chug it? Hold on. Cheers. Look at each other? Put the mic to your throat so that I can hear you gulp it. Oh, I just did it without... Oh, this is going to be hard. Hold look on. my eyes. Oh, that you came through. That? Yeah, you that got came that? through. That's pretty good. All right, today. Mind, um, both of you, yeah. yeah. Magic Mind. And this is the other side with Magic Mind. Um, I forgot to, I usually lean into the fact that Magic Mind, I was trying to replace coffee there. I'm not replacing coffee. Okay, coffee is part of my life. Yeah. But Magic Mind's more of like a compliment on top of that. Mm. Um, also, if I don't want that crash that usually coffee does give me when I drink too many cups, Magic Mind is a good focus, good energy boost. Um, but it, it doesn't result in that same like, oh, I'm getting jittery and then that hard spike down. Yeah, I never got, I get jittery with coffee. Yeah. Oh if my I gosh. have like a full cup. Yeah. Yeah, a full cup does it for you? Yeah. Oh my now, gosh. Yeah. It's weird. It's changed me. That's crazy. The I older like I get, the cups. more caffeine affects me. I was going to say, I have like two or three cups probably. I'm, I'm bad. But um, I was able to like, I would drink this and then I could just crank work out. Oh yeah. I felt like my focus was on fire. Yeah. And again, I, I love the ingredients. It's matcha. There's nootropic adaptogens mushrooms um and it's low sugar low caffeine the other side of it too is um the real focus on this i'm really curious to see because i usually don't take this before an episode so i want to see how the course of this episode the focus because i usually do when i'm working Mm. um just zero in right now zero in but we have a new offer code this week this this week it's blg p20 Ooh, um, P20. Yeah, there's. I don't know what the P is. I need to ask them, but BLG P20. And uh, <laughs> that's 20% off your order, your um, subscription. And if you do go the subscription model into your first time, you can get close to like 48% off, which brings it down to like around $3 a bottle. Again, nice. that's around the price of a coffee or cheaper than the price of coffee these days. Yeah. It's pump, pumpkin spice latte season. So My coffee wanna, was five forty eight this morning. Five forty eight For just a cappuccino. That's just nothing crazy. That is crazy. Is that Starbucks? Yeah. That is crazy. That brings the boomer out of me. It does, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just right out of me. Too high. Yeah. That is, I mean, it is That's ridiculous. Crazy, I, I won't, yeah. I won't buy coffee out most, most often, unless it's a pumpkin spice. I do. I'm a sucker for that. I had one last week for the first time. Pumpkin's you would good. be a pumpkin spice boy. 
I, I have to like, I don't like sweet coffee usually, but yeah. that one's just, it's just season. I'm a seasonal boy yeah. and that'll, that'll do it for me. Anyways. Tis the season. Tis the season. Um, again, magicmind.com slash BLGP20. That'll take you to the site and then use that same code BLGP20 at checkout. Um, focus, no crash. Great product. Go there. Tastes good. Mm. Tastes great. Mm. It's not matcha flavor. Mm. All right, guys, let's get into the review of the Plucky Squire. Nick, you're gonna, do you have anything on the developers before I read something about them, or do you want to? No, no. Okay. And, yeah, I just, I just like them. Briefly, I just want to talk because we've been. You brought this up last week. I want to talk about the the developers because their background's interesting. Uh, this is straight from Wikipedia. As I was on my drive over this morning, so you know it's good. The Plucky Squire was developed by Indie Game Studio, All Possible Futures, which was founded by James Turner and Jonathan Biddle. Before co-founding All Possible Futures, Turner was a designer for Game Freak and directed the video game Harmonite. Harmonite? Yeah. As well as the art for various Pokemon games. He I think would, you're making the mo too strong. Harmo. Harmonite. Harmo. I think you made that word up. Harmonite. Harma would have been an A, but anyways, yeah, maybe. Harmonite. Harmonite. Um, he made art. He made, he like designed Pokemon. Like he actually is a Pokemon designer, like one of the few Western people who makes Pokemon. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Co-founder Biddle has previously worked with Devel Devolver Digital as the creative director for the Swords of Ditto. Mm -hmm. Love that That's game. That's the one that Nick always oh. brings up. Yeah. I didn't know that. Anyways, just want to touch on that. It's a two lead team. It's a very small team. Um, I want to make sure I frame this as it's a small team. It's an indie game, but they have like some pretty deep backgrounds in the gaming industry, yeah. especially when you're working at Game Freak. I think that's so sure. unique. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You're not impressed by that. I feel like, well, we don't really hear about people coming out of Game Freak ever. That's, they, they, yeah. they don't come out a lot. <laughs> That's why. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> They're still in the basement. They're well, still there. I mean, like, Pokemon is just such a powerful brand. It's like, why leave? Yeah. yeah. But, I'm, you know, I'm sure he wanted to do his own thing. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Guys, high-level thoughts, overall thoughts. Ryan, let's start with you. Um, I want to... I want to phrase this in a way I want to be supportive because I like the direction they're going. Uh, the concept of this game blew me away when we first saw the, I thought I predicted this would be my game of the year Same. because when we first saw the um, trailer and the gameplay trailer, mm -hmm. I was like, I think it was August 2022 is when we posted a yeah, TikTok that on right. it. Cause it was supposed to come out last year and it didn't um, a while ago. I thought it looked so good. So fantastic. You know, it just didn't, land with me and i think we're not the target audience it to me this felt like a game for much younger kids yeah much younger and i don't mean that as like a jab but just think it's so basic and so heavy on like just like dialogue mm -hmm. that i was just kind of like um i wasn't blown away i didn't thoroughly enjoy my time playing it and by the end i was like very ready for it to end um that being said, it's not super long. So it's not like a crazy commitment. But the aesthetics mm. were so good. I yeah. mean, they have the makings of something great and the idea of jumping in and out, like the physics of jumping in and out of the story and in and out of like basically artwork within the world, like the 3D world. Yep. Um, man, it's mm. such a cool idea. And they could get really creative. There just was like so little variation in gameplay and it took i would i think it took me like three or four hours before i got to like an open area where i was like oh i get it now i have a segment which is like missed opportunities and i want to talk mm. through that oh, a bit nice. because i feel like there's the framework is here like they're they were so close in my opinion yeah yeah and they missed it yeah. they did miss it but they were so close nick i want to hear your overall thoughts yeah, I would just echo that. I think the creativity is is 10 out of 10, both in like the story and how they designed the gameplay. I would argue that there's various types of gameplay, which is fun, but it just it doesn't it doesn't land because it's also handholdy. You know what I mean? It's like so all the different kinds yeah. of handholdy, but the artwork is so cool, the idea is so cool. You know the the uh, <clears throat> little scrolls you pick up, the concept art. Concept art. Some of that concept art is so sick. I would hang that. Yeah. Like I would hang a poster like that in, in my office. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't know. I, I really appreciate it for that. And I think deep down, I'm, I'm feeling what you're feeling that like there was, there was something here and like, I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, great. 
I think it, as long as you go into the game knowing this is not like a uh, this is not like a gameplay game, right? This is more of an experience, a journey. It's very creative. Then, then I think it's great. Yeah, it's it's more passive. Yeah. than I expected, mm-hmm. and that's both from a difficulty level, but also from a narration perspective, where it's like it's so handholdy and storytelly. Yeah, that I feel like I'm just a passenger on this cutesy little ride. And now I cutesy, the art. I can't agree with you guys enough. It's one of the most beautiful. 2d games i've ever seen it's just it's like the pop of color yeah mm-hmm. the art style even when it, you pop out of the book too into the the real world right and for the listener who doesn't know this is a by nature originally just like a 2d kind of original zelda like top down you're walking around exploring and then you pop out of the book right we've talked about this game a ton mm-hmm. but yeah. in case you never caught that you pop out of the book and you're now in a 3d you know, third person exploration type game, more like a Zelda of later years, yeah. like a 3D Zelda, um, more platformy than Zelda. But it's this juxtaposition of, you know, 2D traditional gameplay into the 3D space and both look great. Even the 3D world, I was surprised by the graphics of, I was playing on Steam Deck and I thought graphically the detail that they put into it was really good too. Yeah. So I liked the art, the art direction, art style throughout the entire game is 10 out of 10. Yeah. Mm. And that's what caught our eye originally. And that's that's what I'm intrigued by by this game and why I was excited to record this episode. I don't like to crap on games. Like you you guys know how hard it is to make games. Yeah. I'm more interested in the analysis of well, what what's missing, what's yeah. so good here. Yeah. And with this one specifically, it's all style, I feel like. It's all style. And it really misses on that substance. Like I don't feel yeah, like there's anything totally. tangibly of like Oh, I liked playing that. Like I'm not walking with me. I'm far more gameplay over story in games. We talk about that a lot. The gameplay isn't here. This is something I would never come back to and play. Yeah. I I would come back and look at the art to Nick's point. I'd hang it on my wall and that's the style here. But I was just so intrigued by like, man, it hooked us so hard because yeah, this trailer sells you really well in what it is. Yeah. Visually Mm. gameplay though. It just doesn't deliver. And, And kind of the, the other side of this too, it's positioned in a way to change up gameplay mechanics. And it did that in the trailers where it's like, okay, you see a shoot 'em up section. Um, you see, you know, actually 2d platformer instead of top down 2d. Right. And like, that's amazing. The, the it's limitless of what you can do with that. And I just feel like it only scratched the surface yeah. of what they could do with that. Yeah. So I, I want to hold real quick on the depth of those. Cause I want to go into how they can do better, but story I want to touch on real quick uh, to get it out of the way. Ryan, what do you think of the story? That's one of my least favorite parts. Yeah. Uh, and I think here's the thing. <laughs> We've learned this now. If you make a game just fun, you just don't have to fill in the gaps for people, right? Yeah. That we do that ourselves. And so the first three to four hours, right? I don't know if you guys, that was your experience. The first three to four hours was like just explanation of this world and its physics. Yeah. And it was like, it's okay. Like you don't have to explain why it makes sense that he can now come out of the book. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's okay. We, it, it's a fun enough idea to where I just actually want to play that and experience it. And if you, if they had maybe, you know, I understand like resources are, it takes a lot of resources if they're going to do like several different areas in the 3d world, like they did. Mm-hmm. Um, or like they kind of remap that desk yeah. that you're on. I understand. Uh, but it feels like they were like, okay, to make this a full game, we just have to fill it. Yeah. And they filled it with dialogue. And the dialogue was, by the end, I'm just like spamming A because it was so mm. hard to get through. And it was kind of like every character had to chime in on everything happening. Yeah. And I'm just like, that's just not how, like, that's not fun and it's not helpful. And like, I don't really need to see all like how everyone's going to react to this. And so it just was like, it just felt overwhelming at first. There was probably, there was a moment where I was really close to just putting it down and walking away and I pushed through it. And then I was like, okay, like finally we're at like a gameplay area. This Mm -hmm. is fun. Uh, But it takes a long time to get there. So the story got in the way of the fun. And I, I don't know if it was them trying to like fill gaps because of like, they felt like they needed to make a complete game. I would have rather this been a three hour game 
with almost no words. Yeah. And it was just the gameplay we saw and been like, oh, dude, what a fantastic way to spend three hours. Yeah. Instead, it became like a 12 hour game. And I felt by the end, I felt like I wasted so much time on just like trying to get through conversations. I do think there was, I think there was filler here. Yeah. yeah. Because I do think it's, if you think content wise, like this is an eight to 10 hour game, I think eight to 12 hour game, depending on like how detailed you are finding concept art, whatever. That's a pretty short game these days. Um, it feels extra shorter when you actually think about what you're, when you're playing, yeah. like I'm not playing most of that. I'm watching, I think feel like half of it sometimes. It's probably three hours of gameplay actually. And the other side of it too is I felt like up front, I was like, okay, up front tutorial, this is super long winded. It's, you know, it'll get better, gets better, but happens again. And then it happens again yeah. and it happens they again. They kept killing the momentum. They kill the momentum. Yeah. So it's like, especially at the end, like I feel like towards the end there Dude, in the final act, it was killing chapter me. nine, I'm like, come on, like, let's wrap this up. Like we get the story and, and touching on actually the, the elements of the story. And I'll, I'll summarize real quick. Your jot. He's the main character of this, this story called the plucky squire. He's got his friends. There's Moonbeard. There's is a hum grump. Hum grump. Hum, hum grump is the, the villain of this book. And hum grump finds out that he's in a book and he starts using magic to pull things in from out of the book and trying to take over the book. The concept of what you're trying to prevent is Hey, your child who reads this book is inspired by your book and will become a, a writer someday. But if Humgrump takes this book over, he's going to not be interested in writing anymore. He's not going to be interested in books. He's not going to become a future artist or writer, whatever he ends up being. But the concept is cool. I like that idea of like, hey, the weight here is um, the dream of a child, like the future of, you know, whatever this this career path that he takes. You're inspiring that cool concept. Keep it simple. You explain that in like 30 seconds yeah. and that's all they needed to do. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. it. It was like, oh dude, it, it just, it drives me nuts. And like, I don't, I'm not trying to like make a comparison because I don't know how long this guy left Game Freak, but the later Pokemon games, I felt like did that same thing. Yeah. Where I was like, stop talking. Yeah. Like it's intuitive how to use a Pokeball. It's intuitive how to do all these things. Like by this time, everyone knows how to do do these things. Everyone speaks the language of video games. I know how to jump. Yeah. I know how to swing a sword. I know how to throw a sword. Like it's like, it's so intuitive and it's like, they're not giving the player the credit of just like figuring those things out. It's like, we're going to not only explain how to do these things, but why it makes sense in this world. Uh, what magic allows that to happen, you know, where it fits in the narrative and why this character would do that. Yeah. And I'm like, it's okay. Just, it's okay. You don't yeah. have to do that. Make yeah. it a three hour game with this gameplay. And I think we would have been like pleasantly surprised. Like, hey, that was a fun three hours. Yeah. You know, when you go to buy a new weapon or, or attack and it gives you the option to do like a demo of it. Yeah. I wish I would have just done that for, for some of this stuff. Cause there, there definitely was filler. I think the option's nice if there are people that are new or whatever, just want to do it. But Eastward did this too. Eastward's one of my favorite games. And the dialogue was just so, there was so much. Mm -hmm. Daunting. Um, it ends up, yeah, it ends up making you not enjoy the experience and you button mash to just try and get out of it. <clears throat> and I, yeah, I feel like they, there was a lot they just didn't need to say. Mm. Like even little just chimes in, like the other person chiming in and it's like, okay, that didn't, didn't really add anything. Sometimes it's like, okay, that made it a little bit cuter, but yeah, there was, there was a lot here that we didn't need. And in, in the, the, dialogue's missing substance too like it's like it's just that it's little chimes it's not funny yeah. it's, it's not, not powerful. Yeah, yeah yeah so um i feel like this is probably the story and the elements around the story and the dialogue and kind of being like handcuffed to it feels like the worst part about the game to me actually i, yeah. I wanted to start at story and then kind of ramp up from there because i think once you get from story and you get into gameplay elements you start seeing glimpses into what this could have been and that's what i want to focus on um on the, the back half of this. Go ahead. Yeah, I will say <clears throat> the one thing that I do appreciate appreciate about the story is especially towards the end, I felt like they got really creative with the story and then some of that story played into like the new mechanics of like um Yeah, let's do spoilers real quick. I'm sorry. So this is for anyone out there, this is a spoiler warning for Plucky Squire's story elements, gameplay mechanics, anything. So I just want to leave yeah. open the door for you on that. No, that's good. So this kind of bleeds into a bunch of things and goes back to the creativity, but it it's born out of the story. And at the end of the game, you know, essentially your side gets defeated 
and you literally like exit the game and it takes you back to the main menu and then the game's like changed because the story's changed and now Humgrump is really the book's about him now. So it makes you like restart the game and go to the menu again. And so I, one, that's like just crazy creative. I thought that was super cool. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool, like a cool story point. But again, like this is just at the end of the game. So it felt like you get to the end of the game and there's kind of this climax that's kind of cool. That's like, okay, we just traveled through this whole map and like now, now we're at that point. But, uh, I would say that about story. I think there was a good, some good points there towards the end, but, uh, after you get through I, I, six grueling hours of, you know, meaningless stuff. I liked that too. I wrote that down. I liked how it like, you know, it was too long. I feel like, yeah. but like it went black and white. Like the world was gloomy yeah. because it yeah. was perceived as the bad guy won, and you're the, the child who this is about really put the book up on the shelf, put the book yeah. up on the shelf, like yeah. really cool concept. Again, too long. Intuitive. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Like you don't have to explain any of that. It's like, Oh, okay. Um, again, spoiler section. Let's just go through the, the boss battle at the end. I thought was almost really good. Like I liked inter like putting in all of the different, um, gameplay styles that you play yeah. over the game with each character. Granted, too far on all of them. Um, I liked the boss battle of like, it was this climactic, like creepy moth at the end. Yeah. That was interesting. Butterfly. Too long. Remember? I'm grown. Oh, Loved yes. Butterflies. Yeah. But he was, it looked ugly. It looked so like it was a like moth. a moth, yeah. right? Um, it's so close on all of that. It just all felt too, like even the boss battles felt like this is not fun. Yeah. Like this is too long now. Mm. But one twist in there, I thought of you, Moonbeard <laughs> coming back. Gandalf. You mean uh, Gandalf? Totally Gandalf. Moonbeard, yeah. the yeah. monochromatic, monochromatic or whatever. Dude, yeah. See, there's like little things in this game. Where I was like, all right, that was cool, but they broke uh, the fourth it, wall a few times. It just times got too. lost a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. In, in what they were trying to do with the story, and and like I said, I think they were just filling filling those time that time, um, maybe just to get the value for like a forty dollar game. Yeah, I feel like they. Yeah, I feel like you, there was some some filler put in here yeah. to maybe get that value. I would say I, I'm. I'm sure there's an audience out there that enjoys this. Um, so I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some of that too. I think, I think, uh, I don't know. I, I would be curious to talk to them how they think about this because adding filler is also like adding costs and stuff. So it's not necessarily like this one for one, I'm getting value out of it. Like they've mm, got to yeah. go and create these, things. even like the options. Now you've got to create like a separate place where people can go and test out this stuff. And so like, you know, they, they just creates more work to also do more filler, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and I want to be clear, we are not the majority on this either. So uh, that's what I'm getting at too. I was like, I don't know if there's an audience that just really enjoys that there, story. There is an audience you know? for this. There, this got a, I would say averaging between all the consoles around an 80, 81, which is actually really good. Um, that's Metacritic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I don't know about that. I know. I know. <laughs> and like even the lowest was like seven. So like I think it was 78 on PS5 maybe. PC was like 83 or 82. This is Metacritic. So this is like an aggregation yeah, of, all of, them. of all of them. Yeah. So there are people here who loved it. Um, it just didn't speak. To, you know what it is? I think maybe we speak the language of video games so much that when I, we feel like we're being talked down to a little bit and mechanics and like everything Nick showing. I would, art I right would now. hang that like literally. Yeah. It's Nick as, showing art of jaw. The main character. I'm biased because I love this style. I don't but. know, Jacob. I feel like we're a little closer to like your average gamer. Than we're not the, the people who review. We have a video game podcast. Metacritic. We have a video game podcast. We're not an average but gamer. I'm saying we're closer than the guys who work for IGN. Maybe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I like, I don't know, man. Time is so valuable to your average gamer. Yeah. Like they don't have a ton of time. And so to like spend this time reading dialogue that's yeah. gives nothing to the overall money game. too. Like the other side of it too is like you do, you drop 40 bucks on this, right? Too. Like that's, yeah. That's I mean, not, all uh, these, the people reviewing those games that gave it, they get those games for free. Mm -hmm. They have the time. They have 12 hours. It's their job. Yeah. That's like fine for them. It, I was surprised though by those scores. Yeah. But I do, I do want to call out that this is, you know, point. I'm it sure hit for us, like it, it hits for others. Sure. Guys, um, gameplay. This is, I think, a strength of it. Granted, it doesn't go far enough on the gameplay where I mentioned that you kind of started out top down 2D as Zelda. I think from there you trans transitioned into 2D platformer, 
where you're more jumping like Mario. From there, you then, I think you do a punch out segment where it's you're straight up doing punch out, mm -hmm. classic punch out game. And then you end up in a 3D space around after that. And that's when it's more 3D exploration platforming. You have attacks, you can throw your sword, which I like that mechanic. It's basically replicating what you do with Kratos's Leviathan Axe because you can call it back and do damage favorite. on the back end. Yeah. Um, there's a spin attack. <clears throat> attacks feel absolutely weightless though. Um, even as you upgrade, I'm like, did I, I'm still swinging my sword three times. Okay, I thought what was interesting is you upgrade the sword, so apparently the attack increases, but you fight the same enemies through the game, the goblins. And it takes almost, and it never it doesn't take away how many times you have to hit them no, at all. No. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. They put in a upgrading mechanic that feels like it's weightless. Really upgrade it yeah, all. weightless. Yeah. Um overall though, guys, gameplay. What Nick, starting with you, what are your overall thoughts with puzzles? Mechanics of switching up actual, you know, punch out to bubble bobble yeah, to candy crush rhythm type. games. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think about that? I thought it was creative. I, I, to me, it was like just a different experience. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I enjoy the like Zelda, like, you know, top down hit them, but uh, it just, even in Zelda, I die. You know what I mean? Like there's times where I die. Ryan's over here thinking like, well, I've never died in Zelda, but, uh, it, it was just a little thinking, bit too, too handheldy. He doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> uh, again, I think it just goes back to the creative element. I think the things that I like about the gameplay are less about the mechanics of gameplay and more about how they took gameplay and used it differently in like a very creative way. And so, yeah, I don't know. I, it's uh, I'm biased cause I, I'm like the one in the group that just plays a bunch of like childish indie games all the time um and gameplay is less of a thing for me but uh it was it was fun and creative but uh nothing to like write home about mm -hmm. i don't know puzzles i want to hear what you, you're a puzzle you big puzzle yeah. guy over here um word puzzles the puzzles were decent actually i think i think they were a step up from being handheldy um, i'm sorry can you explain the word puzzles for the audience real quick because i I just said that without them probably even know what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, it's like Zelda. Like there are things that you have to do within a scene to like move forward or unlock something. And they use this element of popping out into 3d world where like you may have to jump out of the book and then pick the book up and tilt it a certain way to like slide a block down into a different area. And so they really do have some kind of creative things there. They, again, creativity, they give you all these different things like page turner or like a stamp that will maybe hold one block in place while you're turning the page. And so, and then uh, the words. Yeah, and the words too. There might be like a, a little narrative paragraph on the page and you can remove one word and then go put that in another spot. And so like if one word's water and one word's cement and then you switch them, the elements on the page change. And so uh, again, like super creative. They weren't very hard. I think there was like one, there was one I couldn't figure out uh, and I actually had to like look it up uh, probably because I was just trying to rush. Uh, but uh, yeah, the puzzles were decent. I think that if you just enjoy puzzles, you'll enjoy them, but there's not, nothing super crazy there other than they were super creative. Like, again, this is just like, you won't, I get what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say, well, what's another game that I've played like this. And like, I'm, I'm struggling to find one. And so for me, that's a big, like, okay, well, this is a new experience. And I like that. So I do want to <clears throat> on that and real quick, the game I'd compare most, this is a, t it takes two on yeah. a smaller scale that didn't have the big budget is how I feel about this sometimes because it has a lot of the same elements of like mini games within the game. Sure. Exploring a super types. creative, yeah. super creative story, but story, not as good, the, uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, it actually was a good story that, Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. The word puzzles though had such potential and it was like, yeah. again, you scratch the surface of something that could have been phenomenal. Again, you're changing, Cement to water, right? If you can't get over this because it's all water, change it to ice, I think is the example. You change yeah. it all to ice, you can now walk over it. It's so limited in its scope, though. It's like, hey, the words are probably on this page. Or you might have to go back a page or two to find the word that you need to add here. If that was more opened up, this game would be amazing. Just that mechanic alone. Yeah. What do you think, Ryan? It, it, what up, what do about you not like the... this mechanic? If My thinking is, if you lined up just these little aspects of gameplay, everyone would be like, this is an incredible game. Yeah. If you lined up just how creative they got with their ideas. Do you mean like putting them on paper and you like make reading this, about each one? Yeah, you read each one of like what we're gonna do in this game, you'd be like, 
I cannot wait to play this. Yeah. yeah. And it just didn't come together because one, the gaps between the gameplay were so big. And I don't, I don't want to keep hashing that out. But like you're saying, there's only two sentences on the page. So yeah. one says, this large block, blah, blah, blah. The other one says, this small block, blah, blah, blah. So you just switch small and large, and then you can move the block. Yeah. And like that, you know, like that's an yeah. example. It, what, if handily. like, if they're going to do all this dialogue, make it almost optional where it's like written on the page. And there's like this big paragraph on like one of the pages. And then you got to choose which of those words could be useful to you. And the other thing is they like highlight the word you need to change. Yeah. They just straight up. It's like, you can just walk like up a glowing swirl. and it's like, yeah. Hey, put this word here. Yeah. And I'm like, you're oh. holding my hand too much. Like, let me, let me dig in and, but and figure it out. Solve in different ways too. That's the other thing. I think I want to get creative with how I solve these. If you open it up to having more options available, to switch there's like yeah. six adjectives. Yeah. And you can change it to any but of those. Really, there's only one way to do it or one or yeah. In this one, make yeah. it like, two three options but you're right it's like yeah you always have to put the right word there yeah and there's only ever one so to two options one path out yeah. yeah yeah and then all it is is like oh this one was wrong so you just switch the word it, yeah like i wasn't even thinking i wasn't yeah. even thinking i just switch them in and out because there's again three options to work right something like that yeah and uh but yeah. then you like so you describe like oh you can change the words on the page and and affect the elements you can tilt the book you can close the book so that something on this page ends up Slap, on this page yeah. cool concept you can flip pages back to find an item in a on a previous page um and then you can jump in and out of the page to grab things from the outside world and bring them in yeah what a fantastic idea when yes. they probably pitched this game they're like oh this is gonna be epic yes and it just didn't come together <sighs> It's everything is just it's right yeah. on the surface it's and so they just need to close, go deeper on man. every so category. Close. Yeah. Um, which kind of takes me to the next segment. If you're okay moving here to missed opportunities, areas to improve. Yeah. If that you're okay with that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to throw out my first one out there, which is other books or just concept of jumping into other things, right? We do do that. You hop out of your book and you jump into some paper on the, to like traverse a shelf. The other prime example of you jumping into something else was a playing card, like a collecting crit. Like it was like a magic, the gathering card. Mm -hmm. yeah. You jump into it for a turn-based mini game akin to Pokemon. Uh, it's very simplified. You can't really lose. You can't really mess it up. Yeah. But you jump into a different setting. This game jump into other books, other settings, right? Because I loved the, I loved the bedroom setting. I wish we actually got to explore that more. The kids like shelves and all yeah. that stuff. You get a really small segment of it throughout the game, but being able to jump into other books into different art styles, different gameplay, different characters. That's your plucky squire too. jumping into other books yeah. and seeing other like, and that's when you get real gameplay mechanic changes. And like, again, art style, this team is so talented when it comes to art uh, and yeah. art direction that, you know, give them another art style for another segment. Where I think they miss is I think they lacked resources. And what confirmed that for me was the multiple delays this game had. This had multiple delays. The concept art. How often in the concept art did it say, oh, this is something we wanted to do, but we didn't end Dude, up making there were the final sick game? Episode or episodes, scenes, scenes in the concept yeah. art where I was like, where is this? Yes. I would love to go here. I no. think they ran out of time and resources, right? This yeah. is a small indie game. It's so probably, they filled it with dialogue. They filled it with dialogue. Like I do written. think, I do think what I'm happy about is this game has seen some success now where now I think financially they're going to have some backing behind this. Um, it reviewed well enough by critic standards, which I'm happy about because I do think take another like at bat with this, like go flesh out all of these elements. You have the core creative ideas. They're there. Just go a little bit deeper. And if you go a little bit deeper, this could be a 10 out of 10 game. I still see that. Like mm -hmm. this had the makings of a legendary game and no way did it get close though. Yeah. I mean, we say we've had a lot of complaints for sure, but I'm rooting for this team. Like I really want them to be successful. I just think I would not recommend this game. I wouldn't either. At this point, I wouldn't either. Yeah. I wouldn't um, unless you're, <clears throat> I wouldn't unless you're like young, you know, like you're maybe yeah. if you're younger, I would, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have the best words, but Swords of Ditto, same art style. Yeah. But it was hard. Um, mm -hmm. And things were like not as cute. The The art is cute. 
Um, they were kind of like the same, but I feel like the plucky squire was like too cute, cute, like kitty cute. And everything translated like that over into the gameplay and how easy it was and the dialogue. And I wish it was, uh, I wish it was a little bit harder. Like, uh, and they did this on Swords of Ditto. Like that game was tough. Yeah. Um, and so I've, I've played it multiple times. Like that's a great game. I would recommend that if you like this art style, I think that's missing. That's something I would prove on. I would just change it. Like the art is great. You don't have to make everything cutesy though. Don't you know mm-hmm. I mean like it can be, it can be a little bit, I don't know, more grown up, difficult, challenging. I do want to touch on who this is for real quick because we've made the comment that it's for kids now multiple times. And I even struggle to make that recommendation yeah. because so much of this is to us. I feel like, like, I feel like yeah. the call outs to all the other games, the punch outs and the gameplay change ups are like, Oh, that's to our generation. It feels like, and I feel like younger kids yeah. have less of attention span, right? You think a kid's going to sit there and want to click through all that dialogue. So if they're old enough to read, yeah, that's a good point. They're going to want to play something like Fortnite or something like that where there's, and I I'm, this is me, me, you know, guy on lawn, talking about how kids don't have attention spans. I don't think they have attention spans for this game. Mm-hmm. The, the, the age, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Which goes to, which goes to, I mean, it, it amplifies the tone missing from, yeah. you know, like the gameplay. Yeah. I mean, it highlights that even more than like the, diffi- you, yeah. the difficulty level set down for a child, but a child wouldn't have the attention to get through the story elements. Yeah. So it's like you're miss. I feel like you're just missing in multiple There's a mismatch. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. lean into trusting your gamer to know how gameplay works and make it difficulty or don't lean so hard in story. I think both yeah. of those, you, you do lean into both of those. You have a great game. Yeah. And I, I, I don't speak for everyone. I feel like short games are okay. Like you can, yes, you can. Yeah. You can make this a four hour game, three, four hours. If it's all this gameplay we've described, just like puzzles, 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 jumping in and out of the book, blah, 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 yep. game over. No reading whatsoever. The only reading should have been like the big text where the guy narrated it. That's good though, by the way. The that narration was, super the narration really was yeah. awesome. Yeah, really it was like good. a storybook. Yeah. Make it that, that's the only yeah. word said in the book other than like the words you can pull off to yeah. like do a puzzle. Yeah. Um, oh man, that would have been epic. Yeah. When and it, we would have, we would have played that. Here's what would happen. We would have played that. It would have been four hours long. We'd be like, Oh, I want so much more of this. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? We would have been like chomping at the bit for more. And now I'm like, dude, I barely finished this game. Yeah. Like, I can yeah. barely it was a get finish. through it. When you get to the end of a chapter and that narrator comes out and then it goes into full kind of like cutscenes, I was like, then I was like clued in. I was like, oh, this is yeah, nice. This sounds awesome. good. Bennett was walking by at one point and I was just like frozen looking up at it. And I was like, this is beautiful. Like this, like this the is really cool. texture of the page, yeah. like on the... Dude, yeah, I think Book. that's a really good point. If they would have just done maybe more of that instead of all the talking, because I, what I don't think is wrong is the story. I don't think story's wrong. I think how they did the story was wrong with filler and cutesy. Yeah, right? well, so the story is a great aspect of most games. Yeah. To both your points, what they did is Jot's talking to his friends, and oh, I'm nervous about this. Is we're going to the scary forest, you know, back and forth, you know, arguing, yeah. and and instead it was a single comment on a page. Jot and his friends were nervous about going to the the, the spooky forest. I don't like And snakes. then you move on. Yeah. Then you start playing again. Like if you just yeah. left it at the narrator's pages, the beautiful art, dude, that would have made a huge difference in the game. That's a great point. No chat inside. Yeah. Just narrate the story like a storybook and then play. Mm-hmm. Like that would have cut down all on all yeah. the stuff we're, we're griping about. Even very minimal chat. Like, I mean, you're talking like a three or four bubbles, but when I have to click through 12, 15, 16, 20 bubbles to like get through to a scene. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's just exhausting. It is. Yeah. 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 You um, walk in, you walk into a scene and, and thrash is like, yikes snakes. Yeah. And it's like big on the page and then yeah. it goes away and it's like, okay, we now understand thrash doesn't like yeah. snakes. You don't have to be like, we have to go. Through hey, different- remember when I was little and I came across that snake and it made me really upset. I don't like feeling sad. Oh, and also here's a snake in front of us. It's a little scary to me. Yeah. That's like, like that like was like and, the level of the right. Run like, and dude. jump onto a bridge and then you walk around and beat it. And then he tells you more about how he doesn't like snakes and that, you know, he's sorry. It's like, yeah. Hey, thanks but, for saving me okay. back there from that then, snake that did I don't you know, like. I didn't like Then snakes. you go into the next page <laughs> yeah. and it's like, it's over. So like that just didn't really contribute to anything. No. The story at all. Oh. Um, so it's like, yeah, they were so close. They were so close. They yeah. were so close. I would I still say, I think holistically, just thinking about like, hey, what's the game we're going to make? 
let's draft it. Let's hire the right people. Let's start working on it. Let's actually get it over the line and publish it holistically. Uh, it's like phenomenal, right? Like they, mm -hmm. they put a great game together. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's amazing. I think that maybe, and hopefully they get funding for a second one or, or choose to put more time into it, but it just didn't, it didn't make it over the line for me. I hope they yeah. get funding for another one. I really yeah. want them to take another try at this because I think they were so close. Um, guys, I have one last gripe that I do need to tell the audience. I played on Steam Deck Ew. and at first I was like, this is perfect. This is great. It's running well. I hit a point where I couldn't progress because the frames would just drop to the point of crashing and freezing. That was the rocket. Once you get out of the book with the jetpack, mm. that whole segment where it opens no. up, one of the best parts of the game, that couldn't, was play fun. It. couldn't play it. Yeah. And I had to wait for like four days for a patch to come out. So they patched it. I still just ran into weird performance things. I've seen so many like bugs online where it's like, Hey, don't do this thing. The block will disappear or the word will disappear twice. That happened to me. Oh really? Uh, yeah. I took a block out, uh, when you're trying to find uh, the past to go up to the mountain and I threw it outside of the book mm -hmm. and I just, I couldn't pick it up. Yeah. So like, I just had to like exit to the menu and I, I only lost like a few minutes, but, uh, and then something similar happened again. So there were, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it buggy. But there were there were a few bugs for it sure. It was like blocks you had to tilt to like the page to make them go to the other page, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't move. And oh, I restarted it like twice, and then finally, because I was like, I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing yeah. right now, and it wouldn't move. So finally, it was like I restarted it, restarted it, and all of a sudden they moved. And I was like, I'm so glad I didn't waste too much time on this. Yeah, I, I do think again the small team indie side of this is reflected in a lot of the bugs and performance. Yeah. But I mean, I'm forgiving of that stuff. The performance oh, thing yeah. I almost wasn't though because I had to put it down, and if they didn't come out with a patch, I would not yeah. pick it back up. Like it was almost it was a game breaking performance thing. I couldn't progress yeah. because it would just crash. PlayStation. PlayStation, yeah. Steam, okay. Steam. I did PlayStation. Yeah, and, I, and specifically Steam Deck. I think PC, it's fine. Steam Deck, and it's verified too. That's the other side of it. I was like, you don't... Having the verified check mark means you can play the game all the way through. Yeah. So I, uh, I'm i glad they fixed it, but I do want to call out performance because that is a buyer beware side of things. Um, and again, I, I don't think we're really recommending this at this point, it sounds like, as a group. Um, I am recommending Swords of Ditto, and it's on iOS as well, so... Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna I'm recommending have... wait for Plucky Squire 2. Yeah, I Maybe. want them to have it. Well, it, you know, buy the first one so they get funding for the second one, but, you know, yeah. we're, we're, <laughs> kick, we're not kickstarting games here. Yeah. Um, guys, anything else on Plucky Squire before we move on? That's it. Guys, anything else on Plucky Squire while I click through? What have you been playing lately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. Bad host. Um, guys, what have you been playing lately? Nick, let's start with you. What have you been playing lately? Uh, Bloomtown. Mm. Almost done with that. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, another indie kind of top down scroller. Uh, it's like Stranger Things. I think Stranger Things. Playing. Sorry, uh, what's the gameplay like for that? Yeah, it's it's kind of like Zelda, like just top down movie ground. It's like Eastward too. Uh, and then you you have these like combat scenes where it's like the old school. You know, make a selection, and uh, there's like damage effects you can get poisoned or burnt things like that so there's a little mix up uh and then chef rpg i started put down i'm gonna wait for it to come fully out it's in early access but that looks great that's the game where the architect in real life mm. got into architecting buildings in video games um that's cool and then uh i started star wars outlaws but i'm i'm waiting you're 15 hours in i'm waiting started it yeah I just scratched the surface. I'm waiting for you guys. I'm okay. We'll get to that. Cause I want to talk about maybe starting that soon. Ryan, what are you been playing lately? Zelda echoes of wisdom. Oh yeah. Uh, Dude, have you not been, Oh, you, you haven't really been playing that. No, Bennett started, but he will like play and then he gets to a scene where you have to go through dialogue, which we can talk more about dialogue there too. But, uh, and then like, I'll go through it with him and then he's like, okay, give it back to me. And then I give it back to him. So like I'm getting little like snippets of it, but I haven't haven't fully played it. Are you gonna play on your own save where you actually experience? Oh yeah, it? yeah, and they that. let you have multiple saves. You're just focused on your your indies right now. Yeah, your handheld indies. Yeah, pretty much. Ryan, tell us about Echoes of Wisdom. Dude, I texted you guys the other day. It's so refreshingly fun. Yeah, 
I feel like I haven't played a fun game in a while. Except Astrobot like a week ago. Oh, Astrobot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. No, that was, I mean, I'm. And Fortnite the other day. Like, I <laughs> loved Black Myth Wukong. It's over, Sid's welcome. Loved. Loved as if, like, you're you're done with it? Yeah, actually, real I quick, I just, can, can I hear that? Are, are you guys, are you guys done? We'll get there. I, 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 I wisdom. Continue on that It's track. just so funny. I mean, it's, I love Zelda, so I'm biased, obviously, but. Yeah. They take the Link's Awakening remake graphics. Yeah. Which I loved. Um, it's beautiful. And they, it, it's not Breath of the Wild, but they bring these, like, very Breath of the Wild-esque. Yeah mechanics to a isometric kind of top-down game and it translates really well it's a little okay so it's a little broken in that you can find things early on basically you you can clone items and then you can just throw them out into the world and that includes enemies so you can find stuff early on where it's like oh like i'm never gonna die again yeah you know but it's okay because it's fun. Like, the puzzles are so well done. Nintendo's always so good at puzzles, um, especially in Zelda games. They're challenging. You got to be there. You got to use your intuition quite a bit. Like, what's in the room? What can I do here? Um, what did I just learn? And they do it without having to, like, hold your hand or describe it too much. Yeah. yeah. There's a, the, Every Nintendo game has too much dialogue, in my opinion. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> just fantastic game man and it it's reimagining a lot of so link's awakening doesn't have because it's his dream it's not like hyrule it's not like regular hyrule with gorons and zora and all that stuff so this game you get to explore yeah. like the areas of zelda that we love kind of like breath of the wild areas with gorons and zora and all that um without like the th- actual 3d aspects this is like this isometric world and so yeah. we've never really seen that um i love it it's it, really fun am i uh when i paused it at one point it felt like the the interface the design on the pause screen was also closer to breath of wild yeah so now there's um it looked it just looked more like breath of wild when i paused it yeah they have a they have menus that it's like this is for cooking like you have ingredients for like making things like you do in breath of the wild these keep you warm these keep you cold um these add to your hearts yeah. this makes you tougher like all you can that make translated all sorts well of like too. stuff yeah yeah okay yeah i heard bed is op bed is so <laughs> i use bed in almost every situation yeah. gosh this is going to be and it heals you Oh, really? If you lay in the bed, yeah. your hearts come back. Oh, yeah, so like you can that. use it to traverse things and climb things and then also like, healing you, which is like, yeah, it's an OP ability. There's an item late in the game that you don't, not late in the game, pretty early in the game, that you don't need to find. But if you find it, it's flying tile. Yeah, it makes it probably pretty easy, huh? You literally put this tile down, you stand on it, it lifts up and just... Like you just fly across yeah. this like gaping canyon. Like a Nimbus. Yeah, like a Nimbus. Like a Nimbus. Nimbus. It's awesome, dude. Do we know how long this is? No, uh, I'm pretty far. You feel like you are? I've put more time into this than I did Pluggy Squire. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I have a hard time going back to my Switch. Like I have, like picking up my Switch after holding a Steam Deck for so many years now. Feels wrong. And it's like, the screen's worse. It's a terrible grip. The thing about Nintendo is so funny. It's like, it is such a beautiful game. They do so, a lot with a little. They do so much with what they have, but... Um, still dude, like, oh wow. Little items will have that white outline and you can see like the stepped pixels of their art. It's just like, oh man, it, it doesn't bother me that much, but no, it's it does. It does. It's just like, man, you still can't like, this is still a bad console. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it says 20 hours, 30, 20 hours, 32 for completionist. That's exciting though. I'm actually, I, yeah. I want to play a game. It's that a long. good, it's I, a good spam, but probably halfway. I could do a whole segment on just how crappy the nintendo switch feels now <sighs> it feels compared terrible. to everything it feels terrible um even right. the OLED? dude even the oled yeah. see and that's it what i have really time because i don't even have the oled even i'm waiting OLED. for the switch too and watch it's going to be like it's no better year. graphics it's 2025 dude, bennett dropped the switch like two weeks ago yeah. and i didn't even care i was like <laughs> no joke i he dropped it and i was like 
and just like, kept walking. And I, dude, that's bad because I care so much about hardware. Dude, I and I care. just was like, dude, it's yours because I'm going to buy a new one next year. And like, there's a 5% chance it'll be legit. It'll probably be four years behind as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can just have that one because no, I don't is, like it. Are you buying two next year? Are you going to buy one for him? No, absolutely week? not. He's going to get this. He's going to get the one that's out now. That's like that they made seven and a half years ago or something. <laughs> it's yeah. it's been a while. Actually, it's how many years? It's how long you've been married, right? Twenty seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. No, twenty sixteen. I think right. I got married in twenty seventeen. Oh, did you? Yeah. You always and tell I the story about when spring. you graduated college. Yeah. And then got married. And yeah. The switch had just come out. Yeah. Anything else, Ryan? What else have you been playing? That's it. That's not true. Mm. <laughs> Would we just play yesterday? <laughs> oh, Fortnite. Or, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, I got that win against Mrs. Win. Incredible. Ryan and I have been playing as Deadpool and Wolverine, which is just so nice. cool. It was hilarious, yeah. 2017. 17? Okay. They're okay. selling a skin that's Deadpool and Wolverine, and it's all this stuff with it, but it's the comic book arc style, and it looks so good. It's pretty cool, dude. Watching a duo as Wolverine and, and Deadpool. And then we just sit there and floss over their bodies. <laughs> we, yeah, we do a little in sync dance. Yeah, ba, ba, ba. yeah I, did, I did get that one. Um, Ryan's just looting while you're dying. In, Almost in every battles. time. Fortnite continues to be so fun, though. It's it just so does. Good, it's, it's just so crazy. No words. No words. You don't no. have to read a Say single Granted, thing. hey, we did experience a story by chance. Yeah. Which was probably cool, Doom. though. Because you... If there's not stories often. We were just playing. We, we were didn't just playing. intend for this to happen. And all of a sudden there was like a doom drop and giant doom showed up in the map. And the entire like Fortnite collectively was taking down his health. So sick. And because we were part of that, we got a special loading screen. Yeah. So it, it was a live event that was oh, yeah. scheduled that we just happened to be playing we during. Know. We had played five <laughs> matches before that. And then on our sixth match, we're just playing, running around. That and someone's to talking like, like over a, the mic. Yes. Like, it's like a NPC talking like, he's about to break through. And we're like, what? And we're like what? looking around. <laughs> and all of a sudden, our screen, we're in the middle of like collecting stuff. Cut scene. Cut scene. And it's Doom. Just, and it's a really good cut scene. And I, I was just like, Fortnite's so cool. Like yeah. That happened to me once. One of the They had a rapper on yeah. who did a show. Yep. And I, was just, I just like happened to be playing by myself. And all of a sudden... Like he was rapping in the world or something. Giant like, too, right? Yeah, it was a yeah, huge concert. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, Fortnite just does stuff really cool. Right now, it's superhero theme. It's all Marvel, so you're getting like Cap Shield and Iron Man's Gauntlets and War Machines. You know, you can fly around the map. Cap Shield OP. Mm. Cap, Cap Shield not OP as it much as it used to. They nerfed it a ton. Oh, dude, it's but still it's fun. Still good. It's still when the good. season launched, it was like anytime I saw someone with that, I just ran the other way because so I was like, I'm, I'm done. It, it was so good at the beginning. Like it was game breaking yeah. good uh i did finally unlock the full doom set so nice. there's there's two different skins they released for doom one's like a more modern doom and then one's like gold and like more medieval doom and that one takes a lot Dude, to you'd unlock love it you can i buy it. it no i can't buy my way through the season you can't buy your way through the doom stuff you have to do quests so you actually have to play i actually didn't know yeah you can buy your i mean you can buy your way through a lot of other stuff not, but not that one that. i love um, if you make me do a quest for it i'm just not gonna do it I love guys. Let's get some housekeeping. Housekeeping. Upcoming episodes. <laughs> question mark here. Black myth. Wukong question mark. Wukong. <laughs> oh. Wukong. Wukong. I'm ready to say. Sayonara. Not now to black myth. Wukong. Dang. Well, you you're the reason for this. You feel like you're harder out than I am. Yeah, I think I did myself a disservice going Dark Souls. Elden Ring DLC, Black Myth Wukong. Florida. And I'm like, Florida. So, yeah. <laughs> Florida. 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 I lost We went momentum. on vacation, yeah. lost our momentum. I was relaxed. And I was you like, oh, I soft. forgot what it's like to be relaxed. Yeah. And those games do not relax me. Um, beautiful game. Cool story. Incredible lore. Man, I just, they just made it so long for like no reason. <laughs> it's too long. It's, it's way too, too long. long. Um, so can we. Agree to disagree, Nick, and say we're probably we're probably done with Black Myth. What are we agreeing and disagreeing about? Uh, Ryan and I are agreeing to stop playing, and you're disagreeing that you would want us to keep playing. Oh, I, I want you guys to have fun. So if you're not having fun, thanks, Nick. I would oh, say stop it. I just Nick. want an thanks, honorary Nick. badge of the first time in PLG history that we, I've completed a game that you guys haven't. Can we agree not to give you that. Yeah, <laughs> you be one time. 
Did you ever be eastbound? Eastward. 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 He yeah. just talked about that for yeah. a minute there. Eastward. Or did you beat Brian it? blacked out? He beat it. Or didn't he start it like no, six him, times? Him and Harry beat it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've so you've I've done this. Started I again. Yeah. Didn't beat it. Is maybe what you're thinking of. I dropped. I eastward. thought I remember him starting it and stopping it. Like you six did six times. That and um, not eastward. Really? No. What's I've the other one that's like that so thing. dark? Um, sea of Stars. Tons mm-hmm. of reading. And you're obsessed with it. And it's the Is worst game stars? I've ever seen. No, no, it's more like, um, like, digital art, e- art style. Um, What's the gameplay? What's the setting? Like a ton of reading, and but, it's like. What's the setting? What's the setting? I can't remember. Jake would probably know more than me. Nick was just reading a book. Yeah, it's, you talk <laughs> back in like you a dark love it. room. It's, it's really like, dark. It's, it's not like a <laughs> pixel art. It's like drawn <laughs> art. Um, it's drawn and art. And there's like murder and like investigation and. Um, Murder and you dude, you loved it, and I don't know if you ever finished it because it was really long and tons of reading. Did we play it? With and he him? would send us no, he would send us screenshots. And I'm like, that oh, looks so yes, boring. Yes, he did finish it. Yes, that looks. I want to play that. That's um. Can you guys tell me what the, game it's I the played? Detective. <laughs> it's the detective where he has multiple personalities. Um, Requiem. No, no. Why can't you remember? You know the know. game now. It's the game. You know the game I'm talking no. about. It's where Backbone. You, no, you're the detective. He has multiple personalities. He's trying to like. It's a CRPG. Apparently, it's oh, not Disco Elysium. Disco, Disco Elysium. Elysium. I beat that. Yeah, he did beat that. Oh, did he did that? start it twice, though. I've That's s- exactly yeah. what you're thinking. It's of. that good because I started again. Yeah, it's that good. Anyway, yeah, so hey, me stopping and starting games all the time is is like. That's old news. We're talking about you guys not finishing the game. <laughs> he's accepting. That's not what we're talking. No, about. he's yeah, accept. He's That's accepting the fact that he about. starts and stops things. We're dropping this. Yes, I'm okay dropping this because I want to play Star Wars Outlaws oh. and yeah. Fortnite. I'm really into. For- oh, for- I've been playing a lot of Lego Fortnite. Really? New DLC, Jungle Map, yeah. Sky Islands, cool. Skylands. Mm. Um, it's cool. Take the bus stop. The bus right, stop. Right you down. can fast travel yeah. now, guys. I put a bus stop in my Tatooine, so now you can go back to our old map and back to wherever you want to go. By the way, Bennett, uh, he did destroy some of your crown in Tatooine, if you saw that. I noticed. There's a, a bit destroyed in yeah. Tatooine. I fixed quite I a left bit. the room, I might came have, back, and saw someone was destroyed after we told him not to, and we said, you got to leave this world. Nick, I might have removed the key. So next time you want to play, I have to give you the key again. Gosh. Just because I'm like, I don't. How I'm going to go home and spank him. How dare He's, your child d- I know. wreck well, Jacob's that's, and that's the thing. Lego. That's the thing. <laughs> I would tattoo you. That's the thing. I get it. I get. Uh, I get. But I'm so. I'm the same way. You I know am. what I I'm did? So Medic- meticulous with it. I had been it come to my Minecraft world. Yeah. I saved a copy <laughs> re-uploaded yeah. after he See, you can't that do was that so he just fortnite. like lit everything on fire i would absolutely do that if i could in lego fortnite but it's like this is my world it's on the server i can't save it yeah i get it. ben um, is literally like hey let's spend 10 hours building a house and then when you're over collecting materials i'm gonna just get buckets of lava and see what it's like to put them all over the top of the house and then that's like, normal he loves it that's normal minecraft player that's just exploration yeah, yeah. yeah. That's um, childhood okay guys so black myth wukong Done. Can we say we're not we're not doing an I episode? I want to spoil the end of it for you. Then we can do that. After I the might show. go watch the like the cutscenes. Uh, there's a really cool thing that he'll tell you after. Yeah. Um. Star Wars Outlaws, top of the list for me right now. Now. Uh. Now. 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 Uh. Right alongside Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. So there's probably our next two reviews we'll do. Those two games. You said Outlaws got some updates. Outlaws got some updates. Stealth yeah. has improved. The speeder bikes improved. Um, and they're continually to roll out more updates. Their goal is to have things by like November, like completely ready for holiday season where they just fix a ton of stuff. I'm mm. going to, I'll start it before then. And then space Marine too. I've mentioned a couple times, uh, guys, the TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, shout out all that stuff. I need to make some shorts. I was going to do shorts that morning when we were playing played Fortnite instead. Yeah. And that's just where I'm at right now. I'd rather, I'd rather Glad you're having fun. Yeah. I'm having fun. But if you're on um, TikTok, go watch our call of duty ones and say some bad things about us and follow us. Yeah. And grow up last, <laughs> last, and grow up. last thing. Um, magicmind.com slash BLGP 20. Again, you can use that off code BLGP 20, get 20% off. Again, if you subscribe, you get up to 48% off, go try it out. Um, if you live in Phoenix too, I've got some, you can try out. I got some samples. Just stop by the studio. Stop by my house. I'll give you some mm. samples of Magic Mind. Mm. Guys, mm-hmm. um, we'll see you in two weeks. His address is... You're not going to provide it? No. Definitely so stop not. Stop by their no, house. No, no. not on the podcast. Okay. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye.